Comedy competitive because we have two teams, blue team, red team, competing for laughs, your love, and points. One team wins, one team loses, and it's up to you, tonight's loyal fans. It's improvisational because we make everything up based on your fans' suggestions, and it's comedy because it has to be. It just has to be. Or else it's going to be really bad. All right, we all have jobs this evening. My job as referee is to keep things moving, keep things clean, tell the points, make sure nobody cheats, call the fouls. The first kind of foul, critically important, the most important of the 185 fouls, it's the out of bounds foul. Say that with me if the arm gestures, please, please use your own arms. Ready? The out, out of bounds foul. foul. The out of bounds foul is called when somebody says something lewd, crude, lascivious, racist, sexist, or too soon. If this happens, I blow the whistle, throw the flag, and the offending player will suffer a penalty, maybe removed from that game, maybe removed from tonight's match, maybe removed from the organization. We'll see. All right, this also apply, applies to you, tonight's loyal fans. So if you said anything lewd, crude, lascivious, racist, sexist, or too soon, uh, first one, not going to take any more suggestions from you. Second one, we stare at you sternly. Third one, self guided tour of Northwest Portland. Enjoy it. The weather's great. The weather's fantastic. All right. Uh, question, sir? Can you remove people from the ballot? Uh, <laughs> don't have that power. Uh, uh, he's we'll, just a ref. Yeah. I have a lot of power right in this space. Uh, tonight's ballot in here? Yes. Probably can. All right. Uh, so, uh, keep that in mind. We're trying to play to the top of our intelligence. Please help us do that because sometimes we don't do it on our own. All right. Uh, Another foul that we might call tonight is the groaner foul. Say that with me at the arm gestures, please. The groaner foul. The groaner foul is called when somebody up here utters a pun out of context that is so dumb that we just groan in disgust. Now, my jokes, nothing but net. Thank you very much. 
Go Badgers. Uh, but we're going to turn to Ryan for an example today of a groaner. Ryan's on sound. Let's give it up for Ryan. Very nice. What do you got? Uh, my daughter, she just turned eight. The only thing she wanted for her birthday was a moon ring. And two days of having it, she lost it. And I don't really know how I feel about that. Uh, see, yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I get it. Okay. That, that just was so close to the truth that it hurt. So there's a little pain in there. But if I hear that groaning noise, I'll blow the whistle, throw the flag, and the offending player has to step into the apology box and apologize sincerely to you tonight's loyal fans. You have a chance to accept or reject the apology. You accept it, play continues, reject it, team loses one or more points, depending on my mood. All right. Uh, Let's talk about the really most important people here. That's you, tonight's loyal fans. Yay! You're gonna make it so you have deep responsibilities. You have to cheer when we ask you to, uh, uh, you know, and make a lot of great suggestions. So you need to warm up for that. So from everywhere in the room, yell out your first name. Go. Yes! An animal. Go. Yes! A location outside of Portland. Go. Yes! A location inside of Portland. Go. Okay, cool. Um, great. Uh, I have light up shoes. What's something you want for a gift in the future? Spider. I heard spider. I'm in it. All right, awesome. So you see, whatever you yell out, uh, we'll make it work to the best of our abilities. Now, you have one more really, really important job. And that's what I call captain, captains, or players on the field. You need to cheer wildly. It's in their contract. Let's start with that. Captains on the field. Captain Angela. Captain Angela. You're slightly more veteran than Jamie, so you get to call it in the air heads or tails. It is, I forget what this coin. Oh, that's heads. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah! Well, thanks for confirming. Good call. Good call. It's, a, it's, a, it's a Ford coin. I didn't even own a Ford. Um, so, uh, what game do you want to open with? We would like to open with what are you doing? Do you accept? Yes, and we are wildly in the uh, rears. For those of you betting at home, they're a negative. I think that will get fixed. Yeah. We'll go second. Let's not talk about wild rears at this point. Right. Go prepare your teams. All right, for the game of what are you doing, there will be a player up here from each team. Uh, we'll get a suggestion from you. Somebody will do a gesture based on that thing. The other player will say, what are you doing? And they have to say something that's exactly not what they're doing at that time. It has to be something completely different. That player then has to do this thing, and it goes back and forth until people mess up. How are they going to mess up? If they hesitate when it's their turn to go, they're out. Say they're out. They're out. out. Repeat something from a player that they did before. They are out. out. If they uh, just stare at me like deer in the headlights when it's their turn to go, they are out. out. We get sick of looking at them. They're out. out. Any other decision I get to make, that's where my power is. I will throw them. Out. Uh, every time somebody's kicked out, we're going to count that. Uh, the team that gets kicked out fewer times will win more points. We're actually going to just do it so the number of times the blue team gets kicked out, that'll be red points and red points blue. So we're going to count for both teams. Innovation. I know. I'm innovating all the time. Cool. All right, let's have our first players up, please. <laughs> Let's not get out of control. All right, from over here, uh, could I have uh, an object that you used uh, earlier today, but you don't have it with you now? Lamp. A lamp? lamp. That's awesome. Lamp. A lamp. So we're going to start uh, with a gesture having to do with lamps. Players, you ready? Yes! Fans, you ready? Yes! Let's yes. we'll see it. Lamps. What are you doing? Replacing the cord. Oh, this thing needs to be replaced. This one, not this one. What are you doing? Changing the light bulb. I could do this all by myself. <laughs> what are you doing? Polishing and hoping a genie appears. <laughs> come on, come on, you're in there. No, what are you doing? Doing? Changing the LEDs. section over here, uh, could I have an outdoor activity that you personally have actually done? Soccer. 
Soccer, thank you. Let's go, Lexi. Lexi, 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 Lexi,
That's a good game. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, for the game of choice, choice uh, I need a suggestion of uh, an adventure that you once went on, but it worked out okay in the end. But what? Holding a house centipede. You what? <laughs> Holding a house centipede. You held a centipede? A house centipede. Well, Ooh. they're all dangerous. <laughs> but, um, this obviously worked out because you're here to tell the tale. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, and what's your name? Okay. Olive? Yeah. Thank you. Olive is holding a uh, house centipede, so I think let's include Olive in the scene in terms of a character here. Okay. But periodically, uh, this story is going to go off in crazy directions because if I hear what's known in improv terms as an offer, like anybody says anything, that I want to hear something different, I'll say new choice, and I'll keep new choice in them until I say that's it, and we're going to change the story. Players, are you ready? Yes! Fans, are you ready? Yes! It's new choice. Olive holds a house centipede. <laughs> Congratulations, darling, you got a baby brother. <laughs> you want to hold him? Yes. Hello. Your name is now Maurice. <coughs> Good choice. I shall call you Lord Legwalla. <coughs> Good choice. <laughs> hey, Billy. <laughs> That's it. Billy and I are going to have so much fun together. You know, it's not usual that the sister names the little brother, but, <laughs> okay. <laughs> New reaction. Whoop! Oh. Oh. That's it. Uh, you gotta Olive, catch it if you're gonna name it. I think, I think um, I'm gonna have to keep little Billy leg wumper away from you, because he's delicate. Well, fine. If you won't let me name him, I'm gonna go find myself my own creature. Like this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard new choice. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. New choice. I'd like you to stop calling me a creature. New choice. <laughs> it's a new choice. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's called a scaredy pee. <laughs> it runs away all the time. Well, I'm glad it did because it's a natural predator of the house centipede and we can't have them living here. Well, I'm going to go find a scaredy Pete. I better help it find new lodging. I'm going to feed little Billy Legwumper. New choice. Well, I'm going to change little Billy Legwumper. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Did 
you want to see something along the way? <laughs> You're my favorite babysitter. I thought you were just watching me for tonight. Reverse. Babysitter favorite watching just for tonight, babysitter. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, did you want to see anything? <laughs> Red Captain, I'm Red Captain. All right, 
Uh, you can play another game. It has to yes. be different. Oh, dang it. I know. <laughs> uh, Dime Store Novel. Fantastic. Uh, excellent. Uh, for the game of Dime Store Novel, um, I would like the name of a like a mystery uh, no or detective novel that does not exist because you're making it up now. We can maybe work together on this. Bartholomew and the Dinosaur. Bartholomew and the Dinosaur. Boom. Oh, there we are. Okay. <laughs> Oh, the writers being kicked I've been to the banned other. from yeah, stage left. <laughs> yeah, don't be too far over there because we want to stay on, pleasantly on screen for our Zoomers. Sure, okay, they don't cool. seem to like this. <laughs> All right, uh, so what's going to happen is uh, Bartholomew and the Dinosaurs. Great. Uh, Leslie's our novelist and is going to write this uh, book in front of us and we'll see it come to life. That's how it works. Players, you ready? Yes! yes. Fans, you ready? Yes! yes. All right, take the field. Bartholomew and the Dinosaur by Leslie. Chapter 5. Bartholomew looked strangely at the dinosaur approaching her. It was a strange creature indeed. Seemed to have only three limbs. <laughs> Naturally, Bartholomew asked the dinosaur the first question that comes to mind whenever anyone encounters a dinosaur. You're not going to eat me, are you? <laughs> of course not. I only eat plants and vegetables. Bartholomew looked the dinosaur closely in the eye. Closer. <laughs> There seemed to not be any lies, but did Bartholomew trust the dinosaur? Yes, I trust you completely. My mom's vegan. <laughs> I like vegans. I mean, yes, uh, yes. <laughs> that answer gave Bartholomew doubts, but what abs? <laughs> Bartholomew needed that sidekick to solve the mystery. We have to figure out why when I sit on this side of the teeter-totter, that side goes up. But when I go on this side, that side goes up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's serious business. Let's find out. The dinosaur plunged himself onto the teeter-totter. <laughs> Catastrophe struck. <laughs> and the dinosaur laughed for a very long time. Mm. Backspace, 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 backspace. No, no, no. The dinosaur took Bartholomew to the emergency room. <laughs> We're going to go to the emergency room. He said with a laugh. Oh, laugh. Yeah, that's fine. All right. As they traveled to the emergency room, little did they know the danger following. <laughs> Chapter 12. In the parlor, <laughs> the dinosaur sat knitting with, <laughs> with his one arm. Bartholomew walked in and knew this was the key to her questions this entire time. I understand. When you move that one needle, the other needle magically moves with it. <laughs> it does. I have a secret to tell you. The dinosaur took an old book from the shelf. And all the books crashed down as he did so. That's why there's typically not bookshelves in parlors. <laughs> sure. The dinosaur opened the book and immediately flies flew out. <laughs> says, dinosaurs actually eat people. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened to your mom. <laughs> I bet she just went on a road trip to the East Coast. <laughs> 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 and that's 
time. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to us all. <laughs> Kids detective book, but still detective book. Um, all right, Blue Captain on the field. <laughs> Now they play the game, now you play a game. That's how it works. Yep. Yeah. We would like to play my movie. Would you? Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. Come on up. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Hollywood pitch season. I mean, let's be honest. I don't know how that works. But here are going to be a bunch of people pitching movies. And we're going to simply start with a letter from you. Base movie titles on that. And if we hear something that's worth seeing, we'll see a snippet from that movie. And then we'll see if we want to put our money behind it. All right, uh, so let's start with, uh, what's your first name? Jeff. Okay, uh, Jeff ends in an F, so uh, we're going to have uh, movie titles that start in F. All right, players, you ready? Yes! Fans, you ready? Yes! yes. All right. <laughs> my, my movie, my movie, movie my, my movie. movie! Frankie goes to the fair. Fins in the sea. Flying fish. Freddy freaks out! So, Freddy is a goldfish, and he gets a little nervous when everybody in his family... Ah, uh, flamingos amok. In a world where flamingos are amok, <laughs> one man dares stand up for what... <coughs> Let's see it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. They call me the flamingo. <laughs> I've got your feather. Why I'm back? Dying. You Yo. didn't know that a feather would kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it would make you a little bit of pain. I'm sorry. I'm kind of sorry. It's okay. You know, <laughs> you know, okay, that's, okay, that's, that's fine. Line it up. Uh, you need another letter. Uh, what's your name? Uh, starts with a T. So uh, ends in a Y. Okay, so we're going to do things that have T Y in them. Oh. It's that thing again. So T Y. My, my movie, movie, my movie, my movie. movie. Thanks, Yolanda. <laughs> Wait, no, sure. uh, it's a rom-com musical uh, about a woman named Yolanda who just goes around spreading joy until one day she meets a chainsaw manufacturer. <laughs> We're in. We want to see this. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd stop by to tell you how great your bakery is. a big heart, you bake it in to every tart, not literally, and I think you're so swell, but Yolanda, you make me happy, you bring glee to my face, I want you here now in my bakery space, and I'm gonna I'm need a chance. Step back, please. Uh, name. Caleb. Okay. Uh, C. K. C. C. I think in a B. C. B. All right. Cool. C. B. Go. My movie. My movie. My movie. Corn bunions. Oh. Chauncey buys bananas. <laughs> Chickens and blood. <laughs> Chickens, take over the slaughterhouse. <laughs> yep. Let's see it. Farmer <laughs> <laughs> John! Boom, 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 Dick and Jane, RL. RL, thank you, RL. My, my movie, movie, my movie, movie, my movie, movie. Relative linguistics. Really, Liam? <laughs> <laughs> this is like a musical mystery where Liam goes. <laughs> Riding with Lucy. 
Really, Liam, part two. <laughs> the Calling Lumber. Uh, this is a movie about trees that have a deadly strain of E. coli. <laughs> That's it. I want to see it because I want to see her get through this. <laughs> Can't we call the Lorax? <laughs> Look, guys. I'm gonna have to cut you down. No. Oh, man. Sorry, oh. but you're killing all the birds. I got saplings to put through college. There's no chainsaws around. That one guy ran off to get married. Oh, look at this. I got a chainsaw. Thanks, Leah. You're welcome. All right. Which one of you wants to go first? He does. I gotta run. He does. And run. He does. And try to run. And that's time. <laughs> My movie, my movie. All right, it's time to vote between my movie and Dime Store Novel. Once again, our judges are voting. You can yell and try to influence them, but only cold hard cash gets you the watch. All right, uh, let's count down. Three, two, one. Let's hold them up. There we go. There we go. That's what Solid about. going that way. Five points going that way. Uh, Aaron is looking and waiting and judging for online. What do we got? Four for the red, two for the blue. See, online feels differently than you do. It's really fascinating. Ooh, and I think we're all together with the Mount Tabor and two Tigers with 15 to 13. Awesome. Okay. Oh, this story on update is brought to you by Bartholomew and the Dinosaur. Coming soon to Powell's City of Books. Okay. Awesome. We have lots of sponsorships. Okay, cool. Awesome. Uh, so it's 15 to 13. The red team is behind. We have one more game before halftime. Red captain on the field. <laughs> Is that enough, Kiri? Yeah. Okay. Yeah? You're, you're easy. Um, <laughs> you want to play five things? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking about six things. You want to do six things? Yes. Oh, 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 so each team is going to send a player out. Who are you sending out? Leslie. Okay, say goodbye, Leslie. Bye, goodbye, Leslie. Leslie. Apparently, Dr. Dave is leaving. Goodbye. Make good choices. Right when you get work. Actually, we do have a rep that, because there's a product called this, she likes to run people leave. She likes to yell, stay fresh, cheese bags. Because of stay fresh cheese bags. <laughs> so try it sometime and see how you get along with people after you. Uh, all right, so the game of six things. We are going to come up with a bunch of active activities. So over here, an active activity you've actually done. Bicycling. Bicycling, great. Back there, active activity you've actually done. What? Canoeing. Canoeing, bicycling, canoeing. Great, active activity. Sledding. Sledding, great. Uh, what, maybe a team sport. Volleyball, thank you. Uh, maybe a uh, chore. Oh, online. Let's go online. From online, we have salsa dancing from Melissa Burton. Oh, that's 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 a chore <laughs> for me. I think that's five. And uh, let's go uh, one more uh, actual uh, actual chore. Vacuuming. Vacuuming. Thank you very much. Great. Now we're going to take these and we're going to change some elements of them and make them more complicated. Okay, so bicycling, one normally bicycles on a bicycle, we're going to uh, get rid of the handlebars and replace the handlebars with what? Bananas. Uh, bananas. The cactus will be the saddle. <laughs> and, thank you, I've been doing this for a while. Um, and uh, we're gonna bicycle uh, in an indoor space, but a very specific indoor space, what's that? In church. Okay, cool. Don't do that, but here we are. All right, great. So uh, canoeing, uh, we're going to get rid of the river or the lake, and we're going to replace it with um, a substance that is not water. Desert. Uh, lava. We're going to canoe on. Uh, we're going to canoe on uh, lava, and I'm going to use desert a little bit later. Thank you. Uh, we're going to replace the canoe paddle with something that's not like a person couldn't even hold it. So big. A car. A car. Great. Uh, excellent. And uh, fantastic. Now we're going to sled in the desert, because that's how you do it here. And uh, we're going to replace the sled with uh, something from online. Yes? Uh, 
Yes, from Corey Noodle. Okay, sledding on noodles in the desert. Great. <laughs> Thank you, Corey. All right, awesome. Uh, next up, volleyball. Volleyball's got a net. Get rid of the net. What are we putting up instead? Lasers. Lasers. Sweet. Awesome. All right. And uh, thinking that the net is lasers, we're going to replace the ball with something that's not ball shaped and probably couldn't hit it, but it would. Uh, I was going to say fit with the lasers, but I'm taking pineapples. <laughs> um, that's awesome. Great. Salsa dancing. Uh, yeah, we want to be as specific as we can, teams, with the salsa dancing as best we can do. Um, and uh, the partner needs to be somebody who is. Uh, and it's to, oh, online. Yeah, we got an online one. Yeah, uh, we got Dolly Parton from Paul Stewart. <laughs> okay, thank you, Paul. Um, everybody wants to dance with Dolly Parton. And uh, so we're going to salsa dancing with Dolly Parton. But the music is not going to be salsa. It's going to be a non-musical sound. And what is that? Screaming. Okay. <laughs> Foghorn? No, it's, it's great. It's not good ever, because I'll use Foghorn later. Um, but uh, what is screaming, or who is screaming? Cat. Uh, cat screaming. Okay, great. I was just, I thought screaming was just going to be too much noise. We need some context. All right, cool. Um, next, Foghorn, got to use it to vacuuming. So we're vacuuming, and instead of a vacuum uh, cleaner, like one would use, the device itself, we're going to replace it with a foghorn, which should work great on the dirt, <laughs> right? And um, what dirt are we swimming in? It's not dirt, it's not, it's, well, that, but that's related to the foghorn, and like the universe folds in and <laughs> So we want to have it be something not connected. But dandruff. Dandruff? Gross, but we'll take it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think that we're going to settle there, so... Uh, what happens in Six Things is we've sent Leslie and Dr. Dave out to Soundproof Northwest Kearney Street to enjoy beautiful Portland, Oregon weather. Uh, and when we come back, uh, their teammates are going to take turns trying to clue these activities using just gibberish, made up language, and pantomime, the art of mind. I'm in a box. Uh, and uh, we don't know what the order is because the teams get to choose. The team is behind gets to go first, that is the blue team, red team, right, thank you, red team gets to go first, and then they'll choose and strike them off their list. Now, they have a chance, uh, one minute to get this uh, clue giving done, and their person gets one guess, and if they fail to get it, the other team has a chance to steal, ooh, right? And here are the items, uh, there's bicycling, uh, actually I want you to yell a number even though it's not the order, number one, it's bicycling, with banana handlebars, a cactus saddle, and church. Number two. Canoeing on a river of lava, uh, paddling with a car. Number three. Sledding in the desert on a noodle. Number four. four. Volleyball with laser nets and a pineapple ball. Number five. five. Salsa dancing with Dolly Parton, and uh, the music is cat screaming. I can't wait. That'll be so pleasant. And number six, uh, vacuuming uh, with a foghorn and vacuuming up dandruff, which all needs to happen. Okay. All right. Uh, so on the count of three, let's yell, hey, get in here, and we'll see if they come back. We're, what? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Move our screens, please, so they don't yeah. cheat, so that you can see them, but they can't. All right. On the count of three, yell, hey, get in here. One, two, three. Hey, get in here. Let's applaud as they come back. All right, Leslie, you're over here. Across from your team, Dr. Dave, you're over here. Across from your team, Leslie, your team is going first. You have one minute for each round. Uh, Marianne will have that on the screens. And remember, there's a chance to steal after one guess. Players, you ready? Yes! Fans, you ready? Yes! Let's see it. Baskin Doogie, Baskin Spoosie, Baskin Spoosie, Baskin Diggin, Horgan, Flagin, Stinkin, Wagon, Baskin Diggin, 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 Baskin Diggin,
Was can dig and plus get the hoppers, Eva? Ah, was fuck and dig and hug it. Was can dig and hug flag steam. Was can dig and 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 was can Leslie, what are you doing? I am rafting, white water rafting, on an inflatable thing. <laughs> that, oh, I wasn't sure if that was you saying continue. Sorry. Um, and the water is lava, yeah. and the ore is a guitar. Yeah. 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 yeah! It is not, not 100%. You have three seconds mm -hmm. if you want to try to fix it. Plus yeah. it! I'm so sorry! Oh, plus it! 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 I'm canoeing? Yeah! All right, blue team, go. Ah, that's the fly behind me. 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 Fly Come I'm vacuuming, but the vacuum is a boat horn and the dust is dandruff. Uh, you have eight seconds. Huh. It's uh, not quite there. That's a bop. As the vacuum is a lighthouse. Oh. Oh. Horn. Uh. A light horn. I say, I say. A lighthouse. I say, I say. <laughs> Should we give it to him? Fog yeah. horn! Yeah. <laughs> Right. You gave it to me. I wasn't gonna say right. no, but we, are giving that, we are giving that to you. Yeah, we did that in time. So it's one point each and red, go. Sharks eating. 
No! <laughs> well, nobody saw anything, so uh, we didn't get cats screaming. All right, cool. Uh, okay. Red team, go for it. There's uh, alcohol in many forms, all uh, made here in Oregon. There's sodas, there's waters, uh, there's candy, and there's also $9 Creole chocolate bars. The, cho uh, the, the cacao is from Ecuador and it is made here in Portland and it's outstanding and worth every penny. So buy several of those. Um, and restrooms down the hall, uh, you can go outside and quit smoking, whatever you like to do. We'll be back in about 10 minutes. So let's count down to halftime from three. Ready? Three, three two, one, one halftime! Thank you.
So that's a lot of information, I know, and you took it in, and I appreciate that you did that. So it's time to start all the ref challenges in the second half. I have control, and my first challenge is, to the players is I'd like to see the game of stories. Story! Story! Take the field for that. That's an honor training. Yeah. Well, that's a show. Every show is different. All right, see, it worked this time. Cool. Great. Thank you. Um, oh, yeah, one other thing about classes. We have classes if, uh, for uh, uh, students between the ages of 11 and 17, and that starts, that U18 class starts next Saturday, and we have spaces. In fact, we need two or three more kids or it's not going to run. So if you own or operate a kid in that age, or no kid we do, um, let them know, because it, it is, uh, it revolutionizes their, their life in the greatest way possible. It's incredible. Trust me on this. We've got stories and letters and notes and thank yous for years and years and years about the great power of what this does. Okay, cool. So we're going to build a story now. Uh, and uh, from over here, could I have... Uh, uh, something that you bought uh, over a decade ago. VCR. A VCR. <laughs> okay. All right. And over here, I need the first name of someone born uh, in 2008 or later. 
Owen. Owen? Okay. Owen finds a VCR is the story. Cool. All right. So what's going to happen is we're going to tell you the story. I'm going to point a player. They're going to tell the story. When I take my finger away, they're going to stop. When I point a different player, they have to pick up exactly where the first player left off, even if that's in the middle of a word or phrase. Very difficult. Everybody say, ooh. 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 Elimination game. So we're going to eliminate people for the following reasons. If they hesitate when I point at them, they're out. Say they're out. They're out. out. So all are part of word from a different player. They are out. They only cut off when I take my finger away. They are out. And again, you get sick of looking at them. They're out. Last player left alive. Three points for their team. This is Owen finds a VCR. <laughs> Chapter one. Owen stood at the top of the stairs. It was dark in the basement, and there was a funny smell down there. It smelled like cabbage. He didn't know why, but it just did. He tiptoed down the stairs with his headlight turned on, hoping to find treasure. That's when he saw in the corner a box. Something was in the box. Something glorious! It was metal and black and... From the 80s. <laughs> it had a plug and a weird set of reels and some buttons, which were really similar to squares and other rectangles. Owen took it over <laughs> to his grandmother, who was at the top of the stairs at her house. And she <laughs> said, Owen, what did you find? It's a VCR, you're lucky boy. Let me find a TV to hook it up to, Grandmother said. D and let me see if I have my old copy of... 1985, the movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a movie called 1985. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I am dating. There might be 1984. In just a moment here. If you love 1984. <laughs> There is. Oh, oh no! Released in 2018. He's out! Oh. 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 Notice that part. No VHS. It would not be on videotape. Uh, uh, I'm hoping he wouldn't. It's the first time I've gone to IMDb in a show. Cool. Uh, it's Owen oh, Finds a VCR Chapter 2. <laughs> Owen put the tape into the player and hit the remote. Things began to come onto the screen. He was astounded by people talking and moving on the screen. And an FBI agent walked into the door and said, you know why I'm here. That's copyrighted material you're watching. <laughs> Where she hit... Ah! 
out in a basement that smelled of cabbage. <laughs> anyway, back in 1985. Grandma! Yeah! <laughs> She's out of there. Wow. Down to Leslie and Chris. <laughs> Owen oh, finds a VCR. The final chapter. Oh, I had a thought. If in 1985 they should find the original VCR. Cell phones don't work because <laughs> the technology's a still abrupt. No, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's three points for the red team. Yeah. 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 The score, 19-17 yeah. for the Lego My Eagles. This scoring update was brought to you by 1985. Available on TV, but not VHS. Released in 2018. All right. Hey, by the way, a little life advice, and I seriously uh, gave this to my kids. Let the ref throw you out. Keep playing. <laughs> Let the ref throw you out. They will. Keep playing. Don't assume that anybody noticed your small mistake. Keep playing. It's really good advice if you think about it. Ref, if you did something and need to get thrown out, the ref will throw you out. All right, cool. Uh, it's 19 to 17. This is very dramatic, so let's amp up the drama. Did I say something controversial? I don't know. Uh, let's end up the drama and uh, do a uh, yes. Hi, uh, third row, fourth row. Is flopping allowed? Uh, is uh, we don't encourage flopping here because my insurance company doesn't want people getting hurt. <laughs> but, yeah, thank you. Um, uh, I don't know in uh, both NC two A and NBA basketball how they apply flopping because I see it all the time and they don't call it. So you just do it and let the ref make the call. That's where the lesson is. You online people, you know what I'm talking about. All right, we're gonna do a head-to-head -head musical. And uh, did anybody here like have a, a, a super meet cute from when they met? You know what I mean? Like you were a Hallmark movie kind of thing? Yeah. Um, so me and my husband never spoke, but we saw each other at school. And then he left a mix CD on my car. <laughs> oh. Okay, CDs are discs. <laughs> Anyway, it's like the next step from VHS. Yeah? So I, just, I didn't know who it was. I made posters, found out it was him. We had a mix CD, put it on his car. Whoa. And then we kept trading mix CDs back and forth until we finally like, yeah, had so to And then we, he, he was like flying a kite on a hill. <laughs> Good night. Okay. The online people might not have heard all of this. And so I'm going to sum up. So what's your name? Jeanette. Jeanette. What's the husband's name? Cameron. Cameron. So Cameron and Jeanette like saw each other at school, and he left a mixtape on her car. What kind of car was it? It was a Mercedes. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you should have said 85. 85. <laughs> but, good one. That's, it's called a callback. That's your first um, It's okay to tell small fibs if you're calling back. All right. Um, and uh, then uh, you put up posters, found out who this was. How did you find out? I mean, I'm, I'm a... I, is... I worked at the school. Oh. And so there was only two guys named Cameron at the school. So he wrote his name on one of the posters. And one guy was really cute. And the other... No. So I, I put my money on the cute one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was, it was, it was, it was it cute Cameron? Or other <laughs> Cameron? <laughs> I'm just so entertained by this. This is amazing. Um, fantastic. I, I do have a question. So you were at the same school. You both work there? No, no. He... Okay, real quick. Yeah. We're both at school from 98 to 2000. Uh -huh. He graduates because he's older. Uh -huh. I keep going. Yeah. Uh -huh. I can't Good. get a job after I graduate because I got a fine art degree. Mm. <laughs> so I keep working at the school. I have an MFA. <laughs> I, mean, I, I couldn't find a job. He comes back to get his master's. Uh -huh. And then so he's like, oh, she's still here. Oh. Like, why is he back? And so we 
So you were a student working at the school? Mm -hmm. I was, no, I, I graduated. Mm -hmm. Oh. So okay, okay. All right, I've got the script, I've got the script done. What's <laughs> cool? Great. The rest of the audience is like, could we see this in a musical? And the answer is, yes, we can. And uh, everybody gets a quarter if uh, we have a final scene of a kite flying on a hill. <laughs> it's like our target, okay? Sometimes in improv you have the target, and here goes the story. Right? So that might happen. It can end with all of yeah. And her centipede. No, no. <laughs> Olive is just the beginning. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. There, you've got many more movies to make, Olive. It's fine. So this this movie, Olive, takes place all before you were born. Okay. Cool. I think we've got it all. I'm also truly moved that music did all this. Yeah, that's amazing. So we're gonna make it a musical. Um, I have to go play keyboards. Hope that's okay. Uh, players, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> it's, uh, Jeanette and Cameron, the musical. You're watching my locker. Nothing. Cameron, the cute one. <laughs> Me, Cameron, the other one. <laughs> it's really too bad, you know. It's like, you can be cute too. Well, you know what they say. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes life can be cruel. Sometimes a dude that has the same. But all sorts of things can happen when you're in school. Like mixtapes randomly showing up on your windshield. Oh, wow. That's a great idea. That is a great idea. I just thought of that. Yeah. If only there was a person at this school that was worthy. You have to find somebody who likes kites as much as you do. Jeanette! Jeanette! Come with me to class. Is it about kites? <laughs> I don't know, Jeanette. I just think it might be time for you to, to, to do what? I don't know. Leave the school, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> but I love it here. There's, there's oh, cute my pen. guys here. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, who's putting a mixtape on that 82 Mercedes? 
Yes. <laughs> I don't know. We should figure that hey, out. Hey, hey, hey. What? I'm doing it for my friend Cameron. <laughs> but you're Cameron. No, but I'm the ugly Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't be so hard on yourself, man. Well, you're, I, you're cool. I think that he and that girl would be a good couple. So I followed her to the record store and made a list of all the stuff she <laughs> liked. <laughs> <laughs> you followed her to the... And yeah, for three days straight. <laughs> <laughs> then I broke into her house. <laughs> to her music collection. I'm pretty sure that she's going to like the mixtape I made for her. That's so romantic. That's so touching. <laughs> you two have been the school's best couple for a long time. I mean, what's your secret? We do Spotify playlists. <laughs> Back in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're progressive. <laughs> I thought you'd have some wisdom that you might wish to share with everyone. Yeah, we do. In a song. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We started as friends, and then we became enemies. And <laughs> then we became lovers. Wow. And now we are together. We are together. We are together. We are together. together. Tell together. us some more, honey. Together. I really like him. So I made an app called Spotify. I had a time machine. So I came back and brought Spotify with me. Because I knew it'd be super cool. Yeah. We're together, we're together, we're together, we're together, wow. forever. Right. That's a lot of work. Yeah. Oh, here comes Cameron. Don't, don't let on. I'm just jealous of you guys. Like, I'm lonely. I know I'm cute and all, but I just don't seem to have any charisma. It's okay. You're still pretty cool, though. Really? Yeah. You think so? I think so much. I have a feeling you're going to find somebody really soon. <laughs> My car's this way, Terry. Okay. She's What's not. this? I wish I had the guts to talk. Who left this on my car? Oh, I don't know, but I I love Hootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Let's get in. Oh, your car doesn't have a CD player, no, does it? No, it's an 82. But I, have, but I have the tape deck adapter that hooks up to my disc. Awesome. Okay. Accidental time travel. <laughs> the Smiths? I love the Smiths, man. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> Seagulls. They sang, I ran. The flock of seagulls. 
with their sunny hair. hair. I like the Smiths and the Rand Duran. I like the Smiths and the Rand Duran. I like the Smiths and the Rand Duran. Sign me up on. get it going sometime. I just can't seem to get anything in the air. Nothing goes right for me. Just like Rio, your kite will be dancing in the sun. <laughs> it's flying. I got it in the air. Something is finally going right for me. You know? I love kites. <sighs> is your name Cameron? Yeah. Are you the cute Cameron? <laughs> well, you tell me. Is that the other camera? Uh huh. You're the cute camera. <laughs> I'm used to it by now. Today's the first day I ever got this kite to fly in the air. I love kites flying way out there. Maybe our hearts could fly like a kite. Maybe together our hearts could it's reach fun. great heights. Like a kite. Like a kite. Like a kite. Like a kite. If you didn't enjoy the show, tell your enemies. We'll take their money. It's fine. Uh, that's awesome. Unless they're really bad people, we don't want them here. 
Um, cool. Uh, so, in the game of 185, uh, we're going to suspend the Groner file and try to get puns. So, the, uh, there's a standard joke, and I'll tell you that joke as if you had suggested cows as your suggestion. It's 185 cows walk into a bar, and the bartender says, uh, hey, cows, what do you have? And the 185 cows say, maybe something non-alcoholic. We've already been to an utter bar. See how that works? So, for every good one, a bell will ring, an angel get its wings, and that team will score one point. For every bad one, C-SPAN will start setting up in back, you will give no response, and there will be no bell. <laughs> and no points. All right, so we'll add up all the points. Uh, blue team is, uh, what's our score? Our score currently is 25-22 for the red team. Okay, all right, we'll see if the blue team can come back. We uh, so we need an uh, opening suggestion. We need a, an occupation that we haven't had mentioned yet tonight. Lawyer. Lawyer, thank you very much. Uh, lawyers, and... Five lawyers pass the bar. <laughs> <laughs> 185 lawyers go into the bar, and the bartender says, uh, You know, we're, we're getting really close to closing up here, last call. And the lawyers say, Don't worry, we'll be brief. Hey. Uh, 185 lawyers uh, walking so far, bartender says, Hey! Have one of these drinks, it's pretty good. And they say, no, we'll be the judge of that. Ah. Ah. 185 lawyers walk into the bar, and the bartender says, you know, we got a dress code in here. And they all say, well, we're in suits. Mm. Oh, ah. <laughs> I get it. 185 lawyers walk into the bar. The bartender says, hey, I don't think you closed out last night. And the lawyer said, do you have a witness? Ah. Ah. 185 lawyers walk into a baker, and they say, baker, we want to help you completely redo your menu. And the baker's like, why should I let you? And he goes, we are experts at tort reform. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. Cool. Uh, let's go to online for our next suggestion. Aaron. Yes, from Corey. Toaster. 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 That's a good occupation. Toaster. <laughs> <laughs> A hundred and eighty-five toasters walk into a monastery, and the head of the monastery says, why are you here? And he says, well, we're actually not toasters. We're air fryers. Oh. Oh. Wow. A hundred and eighty-five toasters walk into a bar. Toaster toasters? Toaster. Toasters. Toasters walk into a bar and ordered all gin and tonics. Bartender made them all gin and tonics, and he said, these are the best we've ever had. And the bartender said, oh, don't butter me up. Uh, <laughs> 185 toasters walk into the bar, and the bartender says, hey, what do you guys have? And the guys, the toasters, they all say, you know what? We want all that stuff way up on the top shelf. And the bartender says, you want that stuff? That stuff's really expensive. And the toasters say, oh, don't worry. We got plenty of bread. <laughs> yeah. uh, 185 toasters walk into a bar, and the bartender says, Better hurry up, it's last call, we're about to pull the plug. Uh, 185 toasters walk into the bar and they say to the bartender, do you guys want some live music? Because uh, I play the crumpet. <laughs> 185 toasters walk into a bar and the bartender went, oh, you shocked me. Uh, 185 toasters. Oh. Stay right there. To the bartender. No, <laughs> stay right there uh, and it's a chance. Uh, for two. Huh? All right, cool. So I need another noun or object. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Ooh. Uh, you can get a good pomegranate one. <laughs> Worth two. I got one. 185 pomegranates are thinking of going out in the town. They're walking around. They see a bar. And the bartender's like, hey, come in here. It's great. And the pomegranates say, I don't know. It's kind of seedy. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> That's our pomegranate joke. Yep. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let's go online again. Yeah, from Dick and Jane, we have principal. Principal. Oh, That's it's like good. a principal. I get yeah. it. Okay, thank you, Dick and Jane. <laughs> awesome. Principals. 185 principals walk into bar. Bird says, hey, get over here. I'm going to teach you how to make a new drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 185 principals walk into the bar because drinking was their only vice. <laughs> <laughs> Walk into a bar, and the bartender says, "Yeah, what can I get you?" 
and the principals are talking amongst themselves, and they're saying, I don't know, should we stay? And one of the principals finally says, I think we should stay. Look, he's got glass glasses. It's classy. I liked it. All right, it's open season. Any noun or object could be an occupation, could be whatever. Big pink. Big pink? Cool. Wow. If we have 185 of those, we're not seeing the bunch around town. Okay. 185 big pinks walk into a bar, and the bartender says, you're just in time. I'm building a new drink. Hey! I don't even know what this is, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh. <laughs> 185 big pinks walk into the bar and start singing. Let's, I'm going to get this big party started. <laughs> I got it, I got it. I, I appreciate it. I guess they, uh, yeah. Uh, let's go back to online, but in the meantime, I feel like I have a burn in my side. Okay, yeah? Also from Dick and Jane, clock. Clocks. I know what that is. Clocks. 185 clocks walked through the bar and said, hope it's not closing time. Hundred eighty five clocks walking to bar and it was nineteen eighty five. Hundred and eighty five clocks walk into the bar and the bartender looks at the clocks and says, Man, have I been here for twelve hours? <laughs> and the clocks say, Well, maybe you'd have a better job if you didn't have a fine arts degree. Oh. <laughs> hundred and eighty five wow. clocks walk into a vet's office. And the vet's like, why are you here? And he says, I need you to check us for ticks. <laughs> oh! 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 All right, you can all, all try to play this game on the way home, too, uh, but not the driver. Okay, <laughs> cool. Uh, one more person I forgot to uh, thank. All night you've been watching these screens magically change and become uh, very appropriate to the context of what's going on. Scoreboards, comments. All sorts of things. Let's give it up for Marianne Rambo. <laughs> Many of you are looking around for Marianne Rambo. She's in a secure location. <laughs> Say no more. All right, let's do a little drum roll and get our final score. Winner Prairie Tight Race at the end, the Blue Team came back with a score of 34 33. <laughs> Get to it.